morning. Morning. How'd you sleep last night? Cold. It was cold. We got up to the ECD, Eastern Continental Divide, and there were two great sites there, but it was windy and cold. And cold. What time did we windy. get there? Like 9 15. Yeah, it was late. Yeah. So we pushed another, I think, four miles after we uh, were fed by fresh ground um, because we needed service because uh, of the hurricane in Florida and the impact on my parents. So big relief to get to the top, be able to get service and be able to find out that everybody was doing okay. Just no power, no air conditioning. <laughs> I told you she could have some of this. It was really chilly this morning. So we're just starting our day a little late. Kind of slept in, got a little warmer. You yes. ready? Rock feels good, doesn't it? I know, it Stay does. here for a while. So uh, the remnants of the hurricane are working its way up to Virginia. So this may be our last sunny day and then we'll see what happens from there. And the remnants of fresh ground is working its way through me. <laughs> <laughs> Great, thanks fresh ground, appreciate that. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Sometimes there's obstacles on the trail. <laughs> and no way around it. <laughs> no, nah, it's a good one. This might have came down last night. Um, that is the Kepper Oak. 300 year old tree, largest oak in the South AT, second largest oak on the AT. Where's the largest? Connecticut. Is it Connecticut or New York? I think it's New York. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen it. We walked by it and said, wow, that's a big tree. <laughs> this one we knew about. Okay. That was a little anticlimactic. <laughs> These pastures that we're walking through are just stunning. Absolutely beautiful. The color popping helps. <laughs> this is the view from Kelly Knob. We're just under four thousand feet. Apparently you're a knob if you're not 4,000 feet, you're a mountain if you are.
Hey, good morning, Sundial. Where is the sun <laughs> in my dial? It's a running, <laughs> running away from the hurricane. Yeah, it's coming. We just met somebody who's been hiking for a bit and had some service, and he said he thinks uh, 3 o'clock. Uh, what do you say tomorrow? 70 mile an hour winds? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we're still making the call because we're going to the hostel anyway and we can make that call, but it doesn't sound promising for yeah. tomorrow. So Not we, with that kind of wind. Yeah. We may be uh, zeroing at Angel's Rest. So at least thank goodness we're, uh, yeah, we're, we're already <laughs> <laughs> planned. So uh, anyway, nice night last night at uh, War Spur Shelter. Um, I think 17 miles for the day. We met Linus, who works at Angel's Rest, so we'll see him school. tonight. And old cool school guy. was a pretty neat guy with a pretty big story who reminded us very much of Fick's <laughs> brother. Um, so we had a nice time sitting by the fire and eating our dinner and just chatting with them and good camping spot. And yeah, it was a warmer night, so that was nice. Warmer. We were down. Yeah. So, yeah, it was definitely better, but we had no service. So, and then... Uh, Hurricane, uh, still trying to keep in touch with my parents down in, in Marco and not having service. Uh, a lot of our hike has been a little frustrating for me, but they're doing okay. Just no power and maybe two ruined cars. We'll find out. Um, anyway, we're, we got, what, 13-something today? Yep. And then a pickup at 4 o'clock. So looking forward to seeing Angel's Rest. Yeah, me too. And that was probably our last night in the woods because we already, again, had it planned that we were going to Hostel hop the last, yeah. the I'm last sure three like nights. That, I'd like another night in the woods. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see. But all right, we'll show you any views if there are any. You can definitely see it's foggy, but. Good morning. All right, five miles in, and this is the view from Wind Gap. And despite no sun, it's still just beautiful. We both just love when the fog rolls in like that. And it's nice when it settles down in the valley and then the sun's out, but this is this is beautiful. And I guess Roanoke is over there somewhere, we were just told. All right, pretty good timing. <laughs> uh, we were gonna stop at this shelter, Bailey's Gap shelter, I think, for lunch. And then uh, all of a sudden the rain started coming, so it's a little earlier than uh, sort of predicted, but being able to stop here and before we head back out to finish, wrap up all our stuff in our rain gear is a pretty good deal. So, woohoo! All right, horseshoe up our ass. <laughs> I think this is part of the Dismal River, um, but regardless, it is just so peaceful. The rain kind of on and off, but mostly stopped. And it's just a nice fall hike. We got less than two miles to go to our um, shuttle. Um, so the weather's cooperating and it's just really peaceful and pretty out here. Alright, so thankfully this is where we are for tonight. Mountain Mike came, picked us up, and uh, it is raining its butt off. We just dropped in laundry down there. Um, that's the bunkhouse, just past the bunkhouse's laundry, but we are living large. Uh, we are up here in the house in a room called Serenity. So, sharing the house at the moment with one other hiker, but have our own bathroom, our own kitchen, it's a pretty nice deal. So we're gonna walk into town and get some food in this awesome weather.